Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you're from. Uh, my name is Bear, like the teddy bear, over here at McLean's RV. I'm standing inside the new 2023 Winnebago Vista 29NP. That is the National Parks Foundation edition of the Winnebago Vista. Uh, real quick, we're going to actually probably start on the exterior. I'm going to give you a little bit of a walk around voiceover where I explain some things going on there and what we've done with the Winnebago Vista uh, for the National Parks edition. And then we'll come back into the interior. I want to give you a nice tour of this. This is probably the coolest floor plan that I've ever seen in a Winnebago Vista. So stand by, get ready to enjoy the video, and we'll go through things. All right, folks, so on the exterior of this Vista, there's going to be a few different things that are very special to the National Parks Edition. Uh, starting up on front, you're going to see that they have the premium LED headlamps, nicer turn signals, fog lamps, uh, the grill inlay. These are all special. Um, even in the window, you can see they etched a little... Uh, Winnebago RV going through the mountains next to the forest. Um, really nice features. It does have a special full body paint. You can get this in two colors. The one we're going to be walking around right now is the glacier color. They do also have the canyon lens. We'll probably try and put up a couple photos or a little quick video of that as well. Um, when you're coming around the side, you're going to see that it is a towards the front entry door, but it is behind the driver's and passenger seat. This makes it a little bit easier getting in and out. No one's tripping. Um, when you're sitting up in that passenger seat, you don't have to worry about any issues there. Uh, coming through, though, you're going to see multiple storage doors. They do have a full pass-through up front, um, as well as extra storage in the side of the RV, both on driver's and passenger side door. Uh, you will see one fantastic feature that I love to talk about we're going to come up to is the outdoor kitchen here. Now you'll see it's got a pretty large mini fridge as well as a sink. Um, tons of storage here for you to utilize uh, and just next to it's going to be the TV for outside. Uh, the exterior TV, it's still LED, it's nice, beautiful, and the best thing is all of this is going to be under your awning. So when you do put the awning out, uh, one fantastic feature they put on there is the wind sensor. What that does is if you are in higher winds, it's going to kick that awning in before the awning turns into a sail. Um, now I do recommend, of course, if you're walking away from your RV, make sure you close that awning before you go. Uh, but the exterior kitchen, the cool thing on it, the door does open upright so you can actually be under that cooking or using it when it's still in either sunshine or rain. Uh, but the really fantastic feature here when we're moving towards the rear of the RV is going to be what they call a bat wing. Now if you're not familiar with the bat wing awning style um, or you haven't seen a video on it before, we're going to link another video in here where you can actually just click on and see what the bat wing looks looks like when it's pulled out, how they demonstrate it. I think Winnebago's done a very good video on this and we'd like to show it for you. But that does also go over the exterior kitchen. Uh, on the rear you do have the hitch if you wanted to put a tow vehicle behind. Uh, it's got the backup camera that does allow you to look down at the tow vehicle while you're driving or just for when you're parking if you choose. Uh, coming onto the driver's side you're going to see plenty more storage. It's got the generator. Uh, it's It's got everything you really need for the space but again take a look at that full body paint. So fantastic thing full body paint versus decals right this is made where you're going to be out in the sun and parking this thing the idea of a national parks edition being the fact that it's right at that 30 foot mark means that you can get into a lot more parks this is designed to park out there whether you're in the shade whether you're in the sun um, getting out and being in the outdoors is really what that's designed for full body paint's going to hold up a lot better and longer than your decaled um, sister components if you were getting a non full body paint option for a Vista. Um, that's not to say that the decals aren't great, you just got to take a little bit better care of them. Um, though we do always recommend at least once a year coming in getting it washed and waxed and rebuffed. If you haven't done that before, that's something McLean's can do for you. Uh, we'd, we'd like to help you out setting up an appointment if, if that's something that you need. Uh, we do an interior exterior wash available here. Uh, now, I do want to move into the interior of the RV. There's a lot of cool things to talk about from the front of the RV here. We've got your two captain's chairs. Really cool thing about Winnebago. Winnebago was originally a furniture company before it manufactured motorhomes. Uh, 
I'm going into that because they call Winnebago the last true manufacturer of motorhomes. What that means is about 74% of anything you see inside here was made at the factory, and that does include stitching and the leather on the seats. Um, they're super comfortable. You've got foam under it. It's really nice, but my favorite thing here is going to be the fact that you have a cup holder on both right here down in the middle, but also where, where it makes sense, right? Right at hand level on both the passenger and driver's seat. If you are sitting in the passenger seat, you got this nice little workstation. Another thing I really like, you can see they've, they've put the entire dash flat. Um, that gives you room to throw your tablets, your work, uh, whether it's McDonald's if you're like me and you're driving and you just want to grab something to eat on the road. Whataburger fans, we like that too. Uh, but it's nice because it just gives you an extended amount of space. Uh, I don't know if some of you have maybe seen those motorhomes where the dash just kind of drops down. Uh, makes it a little harder to utilize for storage or even if you got like a dog and they like to sit up in the dash. I know we've got a lot of customers who do bring their furry friends along. Um, it's a great option for you. You'll see down here you got extra room for your legs. They've cut this in and put the heat duct over so you still get the warmth but you also get the leg room. Um, you do have auto level. Fantastic feature. Uh, we've got the lights overhead if you like. They're on a nice push button. LED screen here. That's going to be for your radio, for your backup and side cameras. Um, so you'll see that in addition to giving you all sorts of mirrors on this thing, you do have your side cameras. When you turn on that turn signal, they're going to light up. Now, this is on a Ford chassis. It is the 7.3 liter V8 Godzilla engine. Uh, if you've looked this up, you'll realize that it's got about as much torque as a low-end diesel option. So this is giving you the fit and finish of like a diesel motorhome at a gas price. Uh, they did add the Sumo Springs steering stabilization onto the 29 NP, so you're going to get a ride on this that's unlike and unparalleled to anything else that you're going to see in the market um, when it comes to a comparable sized Class A gas model. Uh, now, moving back to the side, I do like to start um, in your dinette section. So. There's only a couple options in the 29 NP. You have your exterior colors. We talked about that. Um, you also have the sofa or the recliners. Now, the dinette, though, is going to be standard. And, and one thing I really like about the dinette, there's a couple things that are awesome, but my favorite thing is if you are a card game player, um, if you're the kind of person who likes to camp with their pistol in, in their table, um, you've got this hidden little bit of storage right here. Plenty of room for card games, uh, poker sets, anything you want in there. But the other nice feature here is, you see when you lift it up, you're getting an extension to your kitchen. Uh, the table material is really nice, really clean, and again, still giving cup holders. You can actually see people here while you're driving, uh, so it's fantastic. If you want to do some work, you can just grab a drink there. This dinette does also make to a bed. I'll do it here at the end of the video just to show you. It's pretty simple. Just flip a switch and drop it down. Um, like I said, there are two options though on this side. This is going to be the sofa bed. You can also get the recliners if you prefer. Super comfortable. And again, here with the cup holders because it just makes sense. Now behind me, I like to point out they put these nice little valances to give you a little extra kind of clean cut and feel. You can see even on the interior colors, they've changed the trim. Um, you've got the wood, you've got the metal aesthetic, uh, really nice hinged doors. But what's fantastic is Winnebago makes their slide wall and everything in here is um, actually came originally from the wall of the RV itself. So true fit to finish and all of the cabinetry here is backed straight into the frame. Uh, to give you a reference, I mean, I can literally do a pull up here, lift myself up, and it's not going to move. Um, this is the kind of quality things that you can't maybe see in the video, but I can tell you, you can feel it when you pull up. Now, I'm just about 200 pounds, so I uh, don't know if it works as well for the bigger guys, but you can do your workouts in the RV if you want to. Uh, you do have blackout shades which are really nice. They have designed this to look very well with the wall coloring. Um, 
Those are MCD shades. They're actually made in McKinney, not too far from McLean's. Uh, coming into the kitchen, you're going to see you do have the two-sided sink. I'm a big fan of that. makes washing dishes a little bit easier. It's deep-seated, stainless steel, really nice. Plenty of outlets in the kitchen. you got tons of storage. Uh, you do have your microwave here as well as a gas oven. I know a lot of times people ask me, can I get both? Yes, you can. Uh, you got a three stove burner top, just nice for cooking, but I love how they make the backsplashes now that go back and block the wall. So it makes it a little bit easier for cleaning when you have like an oily styled cooking. Now, another really cool feature that is awesome in the Winnebago Vista National Parks Edition. You can see here there's a QR code to scan on the screen even. Uh, what this is, is this, it's the new system for Winnebago control. Uh, there's going to be a lot more information on this in coming years. Uh, look into it, learn about it. But basically, when you get onto Wi-Fi, there's ways to update the system. Um, this QR code is going to take you, though, to what's called the How-To Vista videos. So in addition to just getting a walk through around here, if you're trying to figure out how does my water heater work, how do I get the water pump on, how do I control the lights and everything, not only can you do it on here, but that QR code can take you over to the link and show you videos of Winnebago representatives teaching you how everything works as well. Uh, you got a lot of storage here under the sink. You've got cabinetry all over the place. And the best part is you still even have storage under the oven. Um, that's a lot of times missed space on the RV manufacturers, usually for like ducting, air, that kind of stuff, but it's not in the National Parks Edition. Do you see you got a nice 12 volt fridge? Uh, fantastic thing about 12 volt versus those old gas electric three way fridges is that as long as you've got the batteries on, this can be cold. Driving down the road, doesn't matter, just turn the house batteries on and you're good to go. Speaking of the house batteries, in the National Park Edition, they have actually upgraded the batteries to lithium. Uh, everyone knows lithium lasts longer, you can get it all the way down to zero charge and all the way back up, and it's okay. A lot of people, when you especially first get your RV, forget to turn off your battery disconnect getting in and out of the RV. They kill the batteries, and with something like an AGM, normal, standard battery, that once it's dead, you're never going to get it back to full charge. So I'm not saying that you should do that, but if you do in this, it's a lithium battery. It's going to get back up to charge. You've actually got 315 watt panels on the roof for solar. So you've got tons of solar up there and that's going to be able to help you uh, trickle charge those batteries, get you some more power. Uh, we're going to move a little bit more rear. I just want to show you quickly. You do have pantry space. What, see what I was talking about Winnebago? They make everything. They even make your little nice storage bins. And of course you got the flying W on there. Uh, Tons of storage space. You can kind of fit it to how you like to move things. I really recommend totes and kind of bins to make things easier, but it's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, we're coming into the bedroom here in a second, but I want to quickly pan over, just show you what the bathroom looks like. Um, you do have towel rods on the door. You've got a medicine cabinet. You've got two mirrors. Uh, you've got extra storage on the right over here. And then inside behind the mirror is going to be a medicine cabinet. Uh, toilet's decent size for a big guy. You've got some storage in here under the sink. Uh, the paper towel holder's already in place and somewhere where it makes sense. That pocket is deep enough to hold things. And then if you look in here, shower pan, it's all one piece. It's molded in the factory. Uh, you'll see that down at the bottom, you do have a little bit of a lip from where the shower is to the floor. Now the reason they do this is because it's going to do two things. One, it makes it easier for draining and accessing, but say you're a bigger guy, and I'm, like I said, I'm about 200 pounds, so I'm not the biggest in the world, but this is actually going to be reinforced, and they put um, extra insulation under this to give the more strength. So if you're a bigger guy and you're getting in here, you're not going to feel like you're breaking the shower pan, which is nothing anyone wants to feel when they get in an RV. You'll also see if you're taller than me, you do have the uh, domed kind of window here, just giving you a little bit extra headspace. Uh, for reference points, folks, I'm 5'10". So if you're 6'2", 6'3", you're still going to be in here. Um, once you get above that, you might be in the dome, but that's bending over. And if you're at that height, you're probably used to it anyways. You got a nice, decent little shower head here. It is removable. Um, if you want to upgrade that, you can just unscrew it. It's going to be the standard connection, folks. Uh, we're moving into the bedroom now, if you'll follow me. 
really cool things with the bedroom going on. So first of all, you do have your pocket door. It's going to be just sliding in and out. That's going to save you a little bit extra room. Can easily close and open the bedroom off when you're in here. Uh, this is a king size bed that Winnebago's done. And now this is going to be a little bit more comfortable than what you're used to in the RV beds. Now, of course, you can change it out. It's a 72 by 75. Get on Amazon, get a custom mattress if you want. But it is a memory foam, super soft and convenient surface. I do want to show you though while I'm over here, you got cubbies on both sides for whoever is sleeping in here. Inside the cubby, you're going to have your regular 110 volt but you're also gonna have USB plugs. So you can charge anything you need, throw your phones in there. Each side does have its own little closet. Uh, might be hard to see from this angle, but we'll get you on that side. So, closet space and a little drawer underneath your cubby. Uh, now the nice thing too, we do have overhead cabinet space. And again, Remember, all of this is bolted into the frame, so it's not going anywhere. You'll shake the RV before you'll shake the cabinets off. Uh, you do have a second AC in the bedroom as well. Those are fully ducted, so if you're wanting to run all of the air in here or out there, just close the vents accordingly, and you can cool down the area that makes sense for you. A couple other things we're going to talk about over here. You got his and hers closet, or like I like to say, hers and hers closet, and you can have the one behind me. Uh, in here, you're going to see, though, that table and that pole is going to go up for the front. When you're sitting up driving, if you do want to bring like more snacks and stuff, you do have an extra table there as well. You got plenty of drawers under where the bed's going to connect. Extra window to give you some more looks. But a really cool thing that Winnebago does with this TV, you're not losing storage, all right? Look at that, goes up. You got your connections there for satellite, HDMI, all of those kind of things if you want, but extra storage, one more place to put some things. And again, I, I can't get over how good this trim piece looks. Uh, Winnebago's really done some good things. You got extra storage under the bed. Uh, I know sometimes you lose that in RVs, but look at that, you got plenty of room to store things that's fully finished out. You do also have your fresh tank access point here. Uh, for those who are winterizing if you need to drain it. Another thing to notice, see this ladder here? We didn't really talk about it. Up front, in the RV, we'll move back over there now, you have what's called the bed lift system. So, in some RVs, you're going to have um, an extra bed up here. This is one of the things that I love about the Winnebago Vista. So we can drop that down. Again, it's just going to be on your touch panel here. Super simple operation. And look at that, just like that, you have another bed. Ladder's there to get you in. You got a little extra storage, extra lights just for the people who are sleeping up front. Uh, wouldn't recommend leaving it down when you're driving. It's one, it's gonna cut your headspace, and two, it's probably not safe, but I won't tell if you do. Uh, another thing to notice up here, you do have the gateway wine guard. That's gonna be for Wi-Fi. Uh, so again, when you're paired to it, that's another feature that's gonna help you. Um, you do get, your satellite receiver pre-wired inside here. Uh, your TV where it just makes sense, folks. So again, if you're sitting in the sofa, it's gonna point straight to it, extra storage. Uh, but I'm gonna get Rick to show you this little panel here. Uh, now, this little art piece, per se, is a nice kind of focal point in the RV. It looks pretty, but what I really like is it's magnetic. Uh, so if you have those spice racks, jars, anything that you wanted to store in here, um, maybe to give you a little bit more pantry space, you can actually get the magnetic spice racks and just throw them on there. Uh, really cool feature, things you can get on Amazon. I'd be happy to show you about how it works. Uh, I did say I was going to show you how the dinette moves, so I'm going to move these cushions out of the way really quick. Now, I'm not going to push it all the way down because you'd have to move these cushions off the mattress, but there's just a switch. You pull this out so it's like this, and literally, it could not be easier. You can just push it. Push it or pull it, whether you want it up or down, make the bed, and then when it's back up, you just move it over here, it's locked back in, that table's not going anywhere, and if you want to get into your storage, again, it's just that easy, folks. Really cool features, this is the Vista 29 NP, again, it's the National Parks Foundation, it's 30 feet in total length, fantastic, on the newer Godzilla engine, better fit and finish, nicer trim, fantastic full body paint. Lithium batteries, LED lamps, nicer front, and everything in this is perfectly made for you to go out there and explore. 
whether you're looking to get to the RV parks, whether you're looking to get into the national parks, this is probably the RV for you. So come on down, ask for me. Again, my name's Bear Like a Teddy Bear. I'm over here at McLean's RV, and this is our 2023 Winnebago Vista 29NP.